is a presentation of Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are St. Louis. The six-game road trip continues tonight at Scotiabank, Saddle Dome in Calgary, Alberta. And it's a return to Calgary for former flame Gene Bolmeister now on the blue line of the St. Louis Blues. And speaking of former faces, Chris Russell is having a great year on the Flames defense. After a 3-0 victory in Dallas, the Blues head north to Canada. Tonight, from the Scotiabank Saddle Dome in Calgary, it's the St. Louis Blues and the Calgary Flames. And every game is critical down the stretch. The Blues currently tied with Nashville for first place with two games in hand. And the Flames in third spot in the Pacific, but a rather tenuous hold on one of the final playoff spots in the Western Conference. And we say hello and happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. John Kelly and Darren Pang as the Blues take on the Flames for the second time, and hopefully they have some Irish luck tonight, Darren. I am loving the bow tie, my friend, and your, <laughs> your wonderful wife, Jennifer, has brought out the Irish in you. Great job. And also to Ryan Reeves for helping you tie that knot perfectly. Yeah, Ryan Reeves, uh, big assistant. I love your uh, green ensemble as well, Mr. Darren Pang. Well, the St. Louis Blues have now won 44 games this year. And, Darren, I think a big reason why you'd agree is the Blues have a lot of balanced scoring. Yes, and they can come at you in waves. And even if they're not playing their best game, there, there are difference makers in this lineup. And uh, as long as the attention to detail on the defensive side of the puck is good, the offensive side of it takes care of itself. Tarasenko's got the game-winning goal in Dallas the other night. Not much going on in the game, and then bang, one play on the stick, and it's a one nothing game. Alexander Steen scored his 20th. In that same game, C.J. Oshie can join this club as well. He scored into an empty net goal. He has got 19 goals as well. So a lot of changes because of the inner competition inside the lineup. But at the end of the day, there's some great offense out there that the that the Blues can supply. Well, speaking of numbers, Paul Stasny plays in game number 600 of his NHL career. And Darren, he always plays well in this building. And your classic playmaker, too. Uh, the guy that sees everything on the ice. He's got 19 goals in 41 career games against the Calgary Flames. Obviously playing in Colorado, a big rival here against the Calgary Flames. But, you know, Paul Stassi's been a real leader as well, a real mentor when you talk about the development of Dmitry Yashkin. He is always talking to Yashkin, always letting Yashkin know where to go on the ice, and they have developed some wonderful chemistry. A uh, big guy like Yashkin protects the puck. He, he gets himself into the open spot where Paul Stassi is always talking to him about that area of the ice. They are a prototypical big line along with Berglund that I think will be really, really handy when it comes to a seven-game playoff series. Well, the Calgary Flames kick off a huge five game of homestand tonight. Their top line is centered by Sean Monaghan, and he is a real good young player. Terrific young player. Doesn't say a whole lot, but he gets it done on the ice with a big stick. And that's why this is our BJC Healthcare Difference Making line right here. Uh, Johnny Goudreau, Hobie Baker Award winner with Boston College. All he's ever done is won and been a difference maker. He's an outstanding smaller player. And then you've got Yuri Hoodler that's been phenomenal. But obviously Monaghan's development has been integral to their success. A sixth overall draft pick developed maybe even faster than they thought he would develop. But boy, the Blues better be aware this is one of the top lines from January 1 in the entire National Hockey League. It's the Blues and Calgary Flames, the second of three meetings. The battle in Alberta tonight, and of course, the first meeting occurred back in game two in St. Louis. The Blues won 4-1. As Jay Bulmeister and the Blues had a big time effort at home. And we'll see a lot of Chris Russell tonight, the former Blue. A few weeks ago in Boston, Russell played over 32 minutes in the game and had 15 block shots. It's the Blues and Flames next from Calgary. St. Louis Blues Hockey is brought to you by Dobbs Tire Auto Center. In, up, fix, out, Dobbs does it all. Get great offers on 2015 Chevy models. Find new roads at your Mid-America Chevrolet dealer. And by Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. The six-game road trip continues tonight in Calgary, Alberta. 
And our top starting goaltenders, Brian Elliott, is back in goal. Lifetime against the Flames. Five and three. He's won his last four. And he'll be opposed by the Swiss netminder, Jonas Hiller, who is 2-0-1 in his last three starts. Blues Hockey is sponsored by Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. It is Bacchus, Oshie, and Steen against Lance Boma, Michael Backlund, and David Jones. As the Blues get it in, but now the Flames to center ice. And then chipped in offside by Boma, and we get a whistle. Well, no surprise that T.J. Oshie's line, along with Steen and Bacchus, see Lance Boma, Backland, and Jones. They've been a primary defensive matchup for Bob Hartley, the head coach of the Calgary Flames. So they've also got some offense, and obviously David Backus and Steen and Oshie, they can defend as well as any team in the NHL, as well as provide a great deal of offense. Now well, Josh Juris wins the faceoff. Flames get it in deep, but now it's Patrick Berglund back to center ice. On with Yashkin and Stasny. And they don't get it deep, and here's Jurish. He comes in a shot, and that's off a stick and wide. And now Petrangelo back of the goal. Berglund in front, check. A shot blocked at the Blues defense as they turn it over right in front. Yeah, rugged start there. In particular, Patrick Berglund had that on the right side, and that has got to be layered in deep. It gets knocked down, it goes the other way. And then a casual play in the defensive zone results in a one-timer. The Boy, read the hash marks right in the middle of the ice. A shot that was blocked, but Darren, as you know, these Flames have a lot of speed and they come at you in waves. You can't turn it over. Now the puck in the zone. And Petrangelo, high hoister, and that bounces into the Calgary zone, tipped away by former Blue Dennis Weidman. And now Bowmeister back, leaves it for Oshie. And on the third shift of the game, Ken Hitchcock goes right back to the David Backus line. And now the Blues and Bowmeister. He spent four years as a flame before being acquired by Doug Armstrong. And now McCulloch spins it back with a goal. And now around to Schwartz for Oshie. And it rolled away from him. And it's played off the glass and back to center ice. Not dressed tonight. Barrett Jackman, Ole Jokinen, Chris Butler, and Marcel Gotch are the healthy scratches. Now the Flames through the middle. That's Stajan. In for Jones a shot. And a save by Elliott. And now Stajan gets it again. He is defended by Lindbom, the puck in front. And right on the stick of Schwartz. Outlet now for Letera to Tarasenko. And now Schwartz again. And a little wrist shot is patted away by Hiller. And that goes out of play. Well, the Calgary Flames have missed the playoffs the last five seasons. They're put themselves in a very, very good spot. But here's the first four checker in is Jurish. The second one in is Mason Raymond. And they put some pressure right there. A quick pass by Stassi to Berglund rolls off his tape. Joe Colburn, the natural centerman that's playing the wing, he jumps all over that puck. And now Bowmeister funnels it back of the goal for Porter. Porter on left wing. Now for Ryan Reeves. Here's Reeves back to Bowmeister. All he can do is play it back of the goal. Ott is the center here. He's played a lot of center in his career, especially in Dallas. And now jam back to the corner for Porter. Here's Ott, a drive, and he got a lot on that one, but it missed the goal and goes all the way down the ice. Well, that's the great thing about Steve Ott is his versatility, his ability on the penalty kill, the fact that he can play all three forward positions as well. And so the Blues kind of going through some, you know, some evaluations, I guess you could call it, but just keeping everybody healthy, keeping everybody in the mix, seeing what combinations are working down the stretch here. Here's a drive up high right on goal, and a good save there by Killer. And now the Flames to center on Weidman. When Ott got to the Blues last year in that late season deal, he played right wing for the Blues. Yep. Now back to Weidman, a heavy shot. And that's knocked off the arm of Elliott to the corner. And now Bergman to center ice. He meets up with his former teammate, Chris Russell. Yeah, great gap closure there by Russell. Didn't allow Bergman to get to the line. And now Colburn comes in. And that's punched away with the blocker by Elliott. Here's Mason Raymond. Twist one to the corner. Now for Juris. He's watched by Petrangelo. And then defended by Bertuzzo. Up the boards and tipped away by Bergman. 
And the Flames reset at center. And oh. T.J. Brody. Now carried along by Raymond. He'll throw it back on the goal. And Lindbaum leaves it for Bertuzzo. And with some time now to center ice to Steen. And that goes around the wall. Yeah, Bertuzzo's only played with veteran Barrett Jackman since coming over at the trade deadline. So first time that he's been paired with Terry Lindbaum. And now the Flames in their own zone. Pass ahead for Backlund. Great friends with Patrick Bergman. Blues back to get it, though. Tarasenko, who had his sixth game winner of the year the other night in Dallas. Now to LaTerra. Trying to feed one through. Tarasenko leaves it. And then it's picked up by Schwartz, but no one's on the right point as the Blues were changing. And now we're covered at center ice by Tarasenko. And he goes for a circuitous route back in his own zone. Leaves it for Ott. And he gets the puck beyond the flame defense. Shot around by Weidman. Now Ott is there to seal the wall for Porter. And Porter can't get a shot. And Johnny Goodrow to center ice. A good shift there by Steve Ott. Now the Blues into the zone. Here comes Reeves. Right in a shot. And it's saved by Hiller on Reeves. Good scoring chance and a great start here for this fourth line. Obviously, Steve Ott disappointed about not playing in Dallas, but he's a great team guy and he knows that that's going to go around the locker room, that that's going to happen to several players, including tonight where veteran Barrett Jackman not playing in this game. But this is a well set up play and lacking defensively there on the line change by Calgary. Reeves comes in from that right side, and, but he lets it rip right into the see right into the crest of Hillary. He's obviously trying to get that maybe between the legs, but it jumped away from him a little bit. And the Flames, Backman wins the faceoff. And now T.J. Brody. The Flames are without their top defense, and Mark Giordano is out for the year after biceps surgery. And that was a huge loss, but amazingly, they're 5-2-1 and one since he went down. And their goal score per game has jumped from 2.8 to 3.75. Hard to explain that with a guy that uh, you could easily put him at the top of the list for the Norris Trophy before he went down. And now the pocket center ice. Oshie, nice pass to Steen. Funnels one to the corner. Back is after it against Brody. Now back is steals it. But off balance now gets it. On to Berg, what a pass in front. And that was stopped by the stick of Brody. And Goodrow goes back to get it. Hobie Baker winner last year at Boston College. They call him Johnny Hockey. That's all he's ever done is one. And that's an icy call against the Blues. Take that time after you saw that great second effort from David Backus behind the net, keeping the play alive for our Toyota keys to the game here in Calgary. Execution starts with good passing, and it had to has to get better than what it was the first two periods against Dallas. It wasn't good enough, but they came out with a win and defend with speed. I mean, this is about moving your feet. Maybe not the most physical game because Calgary's one of the smaller teams in the NHL. So you have to back check and reload and backtrack like crazy coming through the middle of the ice. Now Colbert on the faceoff. Stasny wins it. And now for Bowmeister. On to center ice. It is Dmitry Yashkin. Then he pulls up. Back to Bowmeister. And he shoots one. That's tipped high, maybe by Stasny. And then Yashkin battles against Rafael Diaz. And the Flames get it free. Now for David Schlemko, who was picked up on waivers a few weeks ago from Dallas. And then tipped along by Colburn, recovered by Bowmeister. And the Blues, McCollum, checked at center ice. Good step up there by Russell. And now Bowmeister for Schwartz. And then McCollum. Tarasenko gets a piece of it. And Hiller tees it up for Russell. He's played about four minutes and changed more than he was before the injury to Giordano. So he's been a workhorse on defense for Calgary. And of course, spent a couple of years in a Blues uniform. Now at center, Bowman tips it. And that goes deep. Yeah, and twice so far in this game, Russell's shown his hockey sense, closing the gap and taking away time and space from the Blues before entering the zone. 
the D of Calgary are good at it. The Blues are going to have to have better dump-ins, much like the one that Berglund had in his second shift. Now Michael Furland, a little backhand flipper, knocked away by Elliott. And the Blues on the counter with Steen. To Petrangelo, but that's just offside. Just over 12 left in the first period. No score in Calgary. Well, making decisions as a coach are, are not easy, and that's why guys like Ken Hitchcock have been around a long time as a, a career coach, and never easy as well for Bradshaw to run the D to tell Barrett Jackman yesterday afternoon that he was not going to play in this game. And there's no bigger competitor out there than the 1999-17 overall draft pick Barrett Jackman from Western Canada. We caught a little conversation at the morning skate where Ken Hitchcock has told everybody, I'm not discussing what's going on, and uh, it's not going to be one of these things where we have a lot of drama with these decisions. Everyone's going to have to check their ego at the door, and it's all for the betterment of the team and down the stretch. The one area, John, that, you know, greatly missed, for sure, besides a lot of areas with Barrett Jackman in a game like this, certain players are going to have to pick up the this part of it, but he he has averaged 23, what, no, 23 and a half minutes on the PK this year. Yeah, total, total. So, I mean, he's, yeah, don't, yeah that's a lot of minutes in one game, huh? Averaging 23 minutes short. Yeah, that would be a lot of minors. That would be a bad discipline team. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's so valuable that way. He and Petrangelo and Steen are the leaders. There is a lead pass for Oshie. Can't get there in time. No Goodrow. Rink wide feed for a hoodler. The former Red Wing lobs it toward the goal and kicked away by Elliott. And now back of the goal, Petrangelo. He was stripped of the puck. And back is back to help out. Now for Steen. Nice play by Oshie to take it off his skate. And he lobs it in toward the goal. That's covered by Hiller. And we get a whistle. Now 2015-16 season ticket packages, including fulls, halves, and 12-game packages are on sale now, which is 10% down. You'll receive playoff purchasing priority and with an additional commitment to the final six games of the season. Playoff games will be discounted even further. Visit stlouisblues.com right now. Blues have seven to play on the road and six at home, including tonight. Now it's Schwartz. Spins away from Backlund. And now on for Laterra. He's chased by Brody. Now Laterra in traffic to Bowmeister. Now on the slot, Laterra the shot. And that was off. A skate in front, perhaps, on Derek England's leg. And the puck at the line, kicked back in by Bowmeister. And now it comes around to Brody. Center ice feed to Jones. And lost it at the line. And here's Stasny back for McCollum. And now Stasny. Killer tees it up in behind the flame goal. That's knocked down by Stasny, but now the flames recover. And on to the center ice area. Tipped in there by Joe Colburn. Now it's Lindbaum for the Blues. And pressured by Juris. And the Blues exit the zone. Smart play there. To move that puck with his glove. You're allowed to do that. You're just not allowed to conceal the puck. And a smart move while Lindbaum was in the corner with two other flames on him. Now the Blues steal it down low. Gashkin centering pass. Now tipped away and the puck lobbed to center. And by Lindbaum back in the blue zone. Not a whole lot of end-to-end -end action here in this game. A bit of a feeling out process between these two teams that haven't played since mid-October. Yeah, 4-1 win by the Blues. We'll see the Flames in St. Louis on April 2nd. Now Stajan walks in. Stajan a shot. That's wide on the short side. And kept alive by Russell. Pump back of the goal for Stajan. And now Ott back to help out for the Blues. Flames center it. That's off the leg of the St. Louis kid, Brandon Bowling. It was acquired by the Flames from Chicago. Now, Porter in a foot race. And he doesn't lose many of those. Here's Porter in against Weidman. And then Reed's down low to help out. That comes free to Bacchus. And the Blues captain motors back of the goal in front. Porter a shot. Rebound to Reeves and out of midair. He back that one high. And then Petrangelo in for the point. Can't hold it in. And the Flames give it up at center ice. And Gunnarsson 
It is watched there by Backlund. And then Petrangelo spins away from Backlund. Shots are 4-4, no score. And Lance Bowman to center ice. Here's Backlund, who has a career-high eight-game point streak on the line tonight. Gunnarsson trying to move it. He does. Now for Steen with Oshie. Steen held up, and he draws a minor. As Tim Peel and Kyle Raymond make their first call of the night. And the Blues will get a power play in this scoreless game. On a two-on-two -two rush, Alexander Steen gains the blue line, and, and he's got T.J. Oshie on his right. Backlund comes back in a defensive position, and as Steen pushes towards him, Backlund's got one hand on his stick, and it gets lodged in the midsection. And Bob Hartley can only look on in this five-game homestead. And then they got five on the road. And there are... Look at those green sweaters. Calgary Flames wore them in the warm-up. They're going to auction them off. And some repairs near the Flames goal. So, Backlund, who turns 26 today, is in the box. The Blues, the number one road power play in the league at 26%. Backlund had an abdominal injury, but in his last eight games, as you had mentioned before, three goals and nine points. So he's hot. Blues were two for five in the earlier meeting against the Flames. And their penalty killing not very good at 80%. That's ranked 23rd. So an early power play for the Blues. It's Laterra, Yashkin, Tarasenko, Schwartz, and Steen. Five forwards here. And Laterra wins it. And back for Steen. He had a power play goal in Dallas the other night. Now Steen gets it. Takes it on to Schwartz. Now for Steen, lets it go. And that was tipped wide, I think, by Yashkin. And now taken by Tarasenko. Steen again winds up. And that's tipped out high. And a puck battle won by the Flanks. Well, that's a commitment to block shots there. Lance Boma blocked that second one. Taking away that one-timer from Alexander Steen as he's in the middle of the ice on that umbrella formation. The first one, John, I, I think Russell might have got it with his skate. Well, Russell leads all players with 237 blocks this year. And the puck shot down the ice again by the Flames. Well, the game in Boston for the Calgary Flames when Russell had 15 block shots was absolutely incredible. And the more he plays, the more confident he is. Now it is Steen in for Petrangelo. And then Steen jams it back on the goal for Oshie. On the half boards for Bacchus. And the Blues get set up again with the power play. Out high for Petrangelo. Oshie looking for the tip by Stasny. That failed to click. Now out high again around to Oshie. He moves in for Bacchus. And then Petrangelo. And his wrist shot. That's blocked in front maybe by Brody. Here's Bacchus. Deals it back to Steen again. And he walks the line. Now Petrangelo for Steen, unloads it right on goal, and a save by Hiller. And the rebound brought to center by Colbert. Short-handed, and he can't pull the trigger. Oh. Steen got back and broke it up. He tried a double toe drag right there. Colbert with some nifty little hands, but he can't pull it off. Quick stick there by Steen at the very end. And now the Blues to center. Here comes Schwartz, and that shot blocked by Russell. And it goes out of play. Blues had one shot on that power play. Solid penalty killing there against Ken Hitchcock's squad. And when you think about it, at home, they're 25th in the league. But that kind of effort there is shutting down the number one road power play. The Blues are at 26% on the road. And here's that double toe drag. Oh, he tries to get it around again on the, the last part of it for a little wrister. Here's the shot. And it hit the back of the leg there of David Backus before taking a little cross check on the back from England. So the Blues fail on the power play as we remain scoreless. Lance control the face off. And now Goodrow back for Russell. And that's center ice. Hoodler sends it into the blue zone, but McCulloch puts it off the glass and out. 
Now Russell for Weidman. Hoodler tips it in now. Backman spins around, but lost it to Steve Ott. And then reads that center check. And the Flames make a change as they dump it in. Calgary playing the first of five straight at home. The Blues playing their second of six in the road. Now Porter gets there first. Blues puck picked up by Ott. And now for Porter. Here's Bertuzzo. And then Lindbom a shot. And that's well wide of the target. Jam back with a goal now by Porter. Flames up the middle. Kept in by Lindbom a shot. And that was just wide as he really jumped high. And now Reeves holds it in. Reeves gets it back. And he failed to pull the trigger. Sends it around the boards to Yashkin. Now Yashkin looks for his wraparound. He loves that play, but it wasn't there. Now Bertuzzo a shot. Locked in front by Juris. And now Josh Juris. Up the boards, kept in by Lindbaum. Stasny. And then Lindbaum. There's a loose stick on the ice. That's Mason Raymonds. And now play by Schlenko, but again, Lindbaum on his toes to hold it in. Oh, that's a good read there, getting down that low. On the cycle, Stasny. Lindbaum a shot, tipped on goal. Hiller made the save. And the Flames are on the board again. Lindbaum kept it in. And now it's Yashkin. What a shift by this line. Tipped. And Raymond to center ice. Stripped of the puck by Petrangelo. And now Yashkin on the backhand. Can't shoot it. Blues are making a change here. Play to the corner. Stasny out of Petrangelo. And across to Gunnarsson. And he chips it back with the goal. Yashkin, he's been on the ice for a long time. Oh, he could have got drilled right there by Slemko. And the referee lost sight of it. And we get a whistle. That was a good... 70, 80 seconds in the offensive zone. Cut. And now that's a green bow tie. That is not quite as sharp as your bow tie, but it is awfully good. Ah, we little leprechaun. I... <laughs> Flames win the face off. And they get it by Gunnarsson. It's starting to sound like a, a pirate. <laughs> that's an Irish pirate, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Now the Blues in Gunnarsson. Throws it back of the goal for Bacchus. That's tipped around. And up on left wing, Boma there. Trying to clear it. Pinballs around, now Backlund ahead. And here's Boma the drive. And that sails high and wide. And then Gunnarsson takes the hit but gets it out. And it's rolled back in the blue zone, collected by Steen. And nice head fake move at center around Hoodler. Now Steen pulls up and a drive, and that goes wide. Made something out of nothing there with great patience in the neutral zone. And now Monaghan stole it from Petrangelo. And a diving play by McCulloch to block that shot. And Tarasenko flies the other way with Russell back. Tarasenko in, and that shot fought off by Hiller with a stick. Now the Blues, and a pass by Tarasenko just comes to center ice. And now Bomeister, nice feed. In for Laterra. Trying to hit Tarasenko. Schwartz in the area, gets it. And a shot on goal, and a save by Hiller. Bouncing puck right there. Good chance from Jaden Schwartz and Vladdy Tarasenko just before that. Former Anaheim Duck, Jonas Hiller coming up with some strong saves. Pass across the ice, gets swatted out of midair. This was the last play there by Jaden Schwartz as he fights off two Calgary Flames, including the St. Louis native Brandon Bolling. And then before that, Vladdy Tarasenko had that chance where he uses Russell as a screen, and he fires it right between Russell's legs. And I thought it might have nibbled off the end of the stick there of the goaltender Hiller on the short side. And now it's Steve Ott. Who's a pretty good face-off specialist, 55% on the year, but as I say, that stage in wins it. And that's kept in by Bertuzzo. And now Flame Player is down in the Calgary zone. He gets up. That's Matt Stajan. And now we have Reeves and Bowling. Bowling taking exception to that hit. And of course, they fought in Chicago when he was with the Hawks. Reeves a couple of rights. He's 
Two guys that end up skating. St. Louis native Brandon Bolick uh, has been really, really good. I talked to Brian Burke. Oh, Bolick, a couple of lefts got through. Now Reeves comes back. And now another left by Bolick. That connected. Oof. And now Reeves an overhand right. Both good, smart fighters, Bowling and Reeves. Are they ever? They both know their jobs. Brandon Bowling's been a big plus here for the Calgary Flames, and we know what, how valuable Ryan Reeves has been to the St. Louis Blues. Only played five minutes and 19 seconds in the game at Dallas. Kind of an oddity there with the way that game went, but usually plays right around nine or ten minutes. And there's the big hit. I mean, that's a, a big hit. The puck squirted away from Stages, so he was caught looking at it. Here's where Brandon Bolden comes right in here to initiate this fight. And obviously Bolick Bolick's fighting him only because of the hit. So is there an instigator on this one here? Only 203 left, but a big assist here to Ryan Reeves as he helps my partner John Kelly with his bow tie. <laughs> and Ryan Reeves has been really working on that bow tie and the technique, and that's why at NHL Ties has got to applaud your efforts tonight. Look out here, Russell with it. And a shot cut through and a save by Elliott. And of course, Ryan Reeves is often seen wearing a bow tie, so that's why he knows how to tie it so well. Yeah, he likes it. He's been really working on it. Went on YouTube and found out how to do it as good as possible, as you say, the all-time records on St. Patty's Day. Woo! Blues are 6, 9, 5, and 1. I'm sure if you like seeing that. We'll change the Irish luck tonight. Now Russell, back first. And now for Goudreau. He comes in, drop pass. And a shot tipped off a blue stick. And on the glass. And it rolls around to Bacchus. No penalties were handed out except the majors there. And a drive by Bacchus. And that surprised Hiller a bit. And now Bacchus in behind the plane goal. Working against his former teammate Weidman. And this flops to center ice. And McCulloch now for Bowmeister. Shots 8-5 for the Blues. No score. And now Russell. Slowly to center in his 500th game. And a shot from a tough angle by Raymond. And Elliott had to be sharp there. Now Mason Raymond. Back for Brody and looking for the tip. Off Colburn skate. And Bortuzzo did an excellent job though getting on the inside. That was a set play there by TJ Brody playing it just off to the left of the goaltender for a little redirect. Here's Latera. Trying to hit Schwartz on right wing. That was picked off by Raymond. And then Raymond gets the puck in deep. And Lindbaum, the first man back to the Blues. Raymond's a fast skater, too, and he couldn't get away of Jaden Schwartz. Pretty nifty with that stick without taking a minor penalty. And 20 seconds left in the opening period. As Brody leaves it. And now for Backlund. And Brody again for Calgary. Long pass to center to Boma. Ends up in the corner for Gunnarsson. And he makes a good, smart play. The Blues to center. And that will do it. A scoreless first here in Calgary, Alberta. Well, relatively quiet first period until that one good play by Steve Ott results in sustained pressure for over a minute and a half by Ken Hitchcock's squad as he looks for win number 702 in his NHL career. Shots on goal in that period, 8-6 in favor of the Blues. No score after one, Blues in flames. Calgary, Alberta, the home of the Flames, and after one period of play, no score between the Blues and Flames. John Kelly and Darren Tang back in the broadcast booth, and I thought the Blues had a pretty good first period. First, I'd like some Grey Poupon, sir. Could I? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right on that. <laughs> yes, I, 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 you know, I, I think overall, I mean, it's a, it's a bit of that, we talk of feeling out process between two teams, maybe a little bit cautious, but I thought as the period went on, uh, 
the decisions with the puck, managing the puck were a lot better. We mentioned in Dallas that the coaches, the players, they weren't happy with their poor execution. They were the ones that said our passing was bad, our execution wasn't very good. In the early part of this game, it was a cautious start to the period. But then as it went along, it all started here. Berglund dumps it into the corner. He fakes like he's going to shoot it, but he lets it go for Stassi. One good shot on goal just based on good puck placement. And then I thought Steve Ott did a tremendous job here. You want to know why this fourth line got changed against a very speedy, not a very big Calgary Flame team? Really, it's because of the foot speed there of Porter getting in on that puck. And uh, that starts about a, a two-minute bit of sustained pressure from one line to another for Ken Hitchcock as they try to wear down the Calgary Flames late in that first period. Blues Hockey is sponsored by Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. And off the opening face-off, the Flames come in, but they are offside. It is Steen back as an Oshie for the Blues. Oshie's got to get a goal tonight, Darren. His lovely young daughter, Lila Grace, has won today. One year, one year old, one year. Happy birthday to you, Lila Grace Oshie. And is she a sweetie? Holy jumper. Shot by Steen wide. Now Petrangelo, play back of the goal, Bacchus. And then for Steen, the Bacchus oh. to Oshie, and that was just off the mark. And Oshie, wrists it back to the corner for Steen. Fights away from his man. Now Steen on the backhand, throws it in deep, comes around for Petrangelo, and then Bacchus to Oshie in front, and his backhander, he partially fanned on it, and that goes under the right pad of Hiller. And it just as you say that about his daughter, Lila Grace, he gets two chances. One of them just missed. But this is great control of the puck here. This one, great footwork there by Oshie, taking that pass that was behind him. Left skate there, drags it back to his forehand, backhand, fans on that one. It makes for an easy save, but a tremendous shift there for Oshie, Bacchus, and Steen. Blues win the faceoff on a shot by Paul Meester. Blues over 60% in that opening period in the faceoff circle. And now Stasny. That's knocked up in the air by Weidman. And it comes around now for Hoodler. Lot pass to Russell. And the Blues break it up. And then Monaghan is closed off by Berglund. And now Goodrow. Talking to Russell this morning, he gave a lot of credit to Brad Shaw and Gord Murphy, his former assistant coaches. Of course, Brad here in St. Louis and Murphy in Columbus. Teaching him how to block shots. Technique. And has he been good? Yep, technique, angles. Um, you know, if you don't have good gap closure, you're not going to be a good shot blocker as well. And that part of the hockey sense, clearly for Chris Russell, is a, it's exceptional. He's a Memorial Cup winner. He's a World Junior gold medal as well. It's a pretty good experience of winning. Well, a terrace pass goes right up the gut, all the way down the ice. But he says it makes a lot of sense. He says, I try to block most of the shots I can with my stick. And it doesn't hurt quite as much. When you get it with your stick, Schwartz fires it wide. Now Tarasenko around for Schwartz. And he now heads up the wing on the cycle for Tarasenko. Oh, Back to Schwartz. And the Flames bat it out of midair. And Brody goes after it, but Tarasenko, the first player back for the Blues. And he fights off that check from Michael Furland. Now the Blues to center. Lindbaum trying to step up. And he does, and he whacks it in deep. Furland just bounced off of Tarasenko there. In that first period, the Tarasenko line, when they were close to one another, supporting one another, that's where they made plays. And now it is Chris Porter. And he comes in. Back defending is David Schlenko. Of course, Reeves is still in the box, serving his major. And Yashkin trying to muscle his way down the way. Yashkin wraparound try and a save by Miller. Now in front, tipped by a flame, kept in by Gunnarsson. And now it comes around for Ott. Tipped by Yashkin, now for Steen. 
And Steen gets away from the pressure. And nice stick handling. Tightrope job out high. Comes in front. And it's covered by Hiller. And then Steen bumps the goaltender, much to the chagrin of a couple of flames, including Schwenko. A couple of former Toronto Maple Leafs right there. Matt Stajan and Alexander Steen, who was Stajan that got hit earlier in the game against Ryan Reeves. And Brandon Bowling jumped in there and fought Reeves. Oh, BMO, Harris Bank wants you to show your sign in support of the Blues. Tweet a picture of you and your sign to hashtag BMO Blue Sign Contest for a chance to win Blues prizes and then have it shown in an upcoming broadcast. Visit bmoharris.com slash blue sign contest or visit a local branch near you. They're discussing where this face-off is going to be here. Maybe getting a new puck. And there's Ryan Reeves back on the bench. Brandon Bolick. That's a heavyweight battle, boy. That was a good scrap. Tough scrap. And Bacchus digs in against Joe Colbert. I love saying that when I'm not part, any part of that kind of scrap. <laughs> I'm glad I'm 200 feet above the ice surface. I, I mentioned I talked to Brian Burke, the senior advisor to the general manager here and president of hockey operations. And boy, he had so many good things to say there about Brandon Bowling. They have loved having him here in Calgary. And a shot by Raymond, blocked by McCulloch. And that goes out of play. Well, there's another tough guy, Tracy England, that the Calgary Flames signed in the offseason, wanting to bulk up that blue line. And, and uh, certainly, when you're playing in this league in the top Western Conference, you've got to get, have guys that they don't always have to fight, but a lot of times they have to stop fights. They have to stop the ability to hammer away at the smaller players, younger players, which Calgary does have. Both England and Bullock have done a good job there. England spent six years in the minors before even had a sniff of the NHL. Now Stasby for Yashkin, wide open in front. That shot blocked. Great set up there. Now in front to Stasby. Oh. And Oji's pass rolled on him. And the puck flipped to center ice. Oh, golden opportunity right there. Right and now the Blues right come there. in, and that's an offside. So Oshi on the ice for that offensive zone face-off, and then after that scoring chance that he had, and now he's had three of them in this game. You see he's in on the hunt here, and the puck carries off the skate, so a little careless play there by the Calgary Flames in their own zone. Quick pass by Stastny over to Yashkin, that gets blocked, and then Oshi tries to feather that little pass over to Stastny before he goes on a change, and Patrick Berglund jumps on the ice. And now the Flames lob it the other way. Four and a half gone by, second period. No score in the game. Hoodler into Goodrow. Brought pass, wide minute shot. And that was the Flames' toughest test on Elliott in the second period. And a pass off a body in front, maybe off a Trangelo, and that was close to the net. Now the Flames put it back to the line. Russell's shot, that's blocked by Petrangelo. And the Blues thinking offense with Bergwin. He wanders in a drive. That's blocked by Russell. And now picked up by Yashkin. Feeds it to the corner now for Stasny. Hard pass back to Lindbaum. And a drive. Didn't get through the maze of players. Now in front, Stasny. Wyman has broken his stick here. Lindbaum lets it fly. And that was blocked out high by Jones. Jones gives Russell, or why rather, Wyman his stick. Now it's Lindbaum for the Blues. Pressure by the Blues here. Lindbaum to Stasty. As the Blues make a change in the fly here. And Lindbaum right on in a save by Hiller. And now Schwartz for Tarasenko. Back for Lindbaum. Again, Jones doesn't have a stick. Bertuzzo a hot drive. And that's caught off by Hiller. Now Latera trying to center it. Brushed in front by Schwartz. And the Flames trying to clear it. And they do to center after a long shift. Here's Goodrow. And his shot blocked by Lindbaum. And the Flames making a wholesale change. Almost get caught there. That had to be a full minute in the offensive zone. Carrying over for that great shift late in the first period. 
Now the Flames play the puck to the corner. Here's Boma now for back right to, right to the goal crease. Then it comes around to Tarasenko. Oh, and he just gets hit by Brandon Bolling after he passes the puck to Jaden Schwartz. He's kind of looking at the pass, and Bolling finished his check. And a pass at center picked off by Bomeister. Good read there. And now for Oshie. And he curls at the line. Oshie leaves it. And a try from out high by Bomeister. And that's off something and out of play. 13.20 left in the second. Blues and Flames. Nothing, nothing. Well, the general managers were really struggling in Boca Raton, Florida. <laughs> going over some of the finer details of the game and how to make the great game of hockey a little bit better. And uh, obviously discussed was a three-on-three -three format. This has been pushed along by Ken Holland. It looks like that's got the recommendations for next season. Limited video replay challenge that would be issued by a coach for scoring plays involving the potential presence of goaltender interference. I think we had it at 144 plays in that crease. 20 were overturned. But it's a non-reviewable situation for goaltender interference as it stands now. And here's a shot blocked by McCulloch. And another chance on goal by Backlund. And Elliott had to be alert there. Now Boma does some pushing in front. I, I still would like to see of one reviewable goaltender interference situation that I think would be clean cut is did a player get pushed in by the defending player in front of his own goalie and if that player got pushed in which caused the goaltender not to be able to make a save and it was clear by evidence of reviewable video then it gets overturned I think it's a simple one because often the referees just see a player going in they don't see that he's been nudged from behind or from the side right into the goaltender by his own player now the Flames off the faceoff. Raymond with it. Into Brody. Backdoor feed. That was intended for Juris. And off his stick, or a blue stick, out of play. Well, that's sorting it out defensively right there because that was good movement by the Calgary Flames. And uh, you can see Bolmeister loses control of it. Then, he, then, then he's going to have to go to the left. There's McCulloch's stick. See, Bolmeister started going over to the right where McCulloch is the right defenseman would normally be. But McCulloch's hockey sense said, i got to cover the other part of the ice and he did so read that beautifully the Blues have won two straight on the road and six one and one of their last eight away from Scott Drake and the puck off the boards to center and here's Reeve now into corner and a long shot well wide and it rattles around for I and now to Porter here's Porter wrapped up from behind by Russell far side to Stasny and he was checked, and Goodrow gets it off the boards. Then back to center ice. And one other thing that the uh, coaching staff really stressed early in the game was those quick shifts with the higher altitude here in Calgary, not getting caught on an extended shift. But I think as we go along right here, you imagine you, you get used to it a little bit more. And shifts won't be as short. You still have to have some, you know, some continuation on the ice to get in a bit of a flow to keep that, you know, that shift going for your line. Yeah, you're right. As you know, Calgary is 3,438 feet above sea level. I, I knew that. So it can be taxi. Long pass to Yashkin. What's Colorado? 5,200. I think that's why Stasny plays well in this building. Yep. And now the Flames to center. Lindbaum steps up. And now it's Tarasenko. And then Lindbaum again to Tarasenko. He flies in and pulls up for the shot. And that's blocked by Diaz and out of play. And Diaz does a really nice job there one-on-one. -on -one. You know, once Tarasenko pulls that back into his skates, I asked him today about the goal he scored against Kari Lettinen, which went under Lettinen's pad through the five hole. And I said, you know, were you trying to shoot it higher? And it ended up going lower, and he said, no, I waited for the last minute to see him lift up. I, I could check his shoulder, and he thought that Lettinen was lifting up a little bit, so he fired it low and underneath him, and he caught Lettinen by surprise. Very few in the game right now shoot the puck as quickly as Vladdy Tarasenko through traffic. And he gets the face off and a drive right on, and what a save by Hiller on Tarasenko. Ooh, what a stretch there by by Hiller, the left-handed goaltender just reaches back to his right and makes that glove save there. Oh boy, did he stretch out. That was labeled. Good face-off win by Laterra. It's cocked, it's ready to go, and it's unloaded there, and it's a terrific save. And Laterra again. 
against Monahan. What a clean face-off win there. They set up in the exact same order. This time, Monahan wins it. Good win by Monahan. A left-hand shot. He wins that on the forehand. Blues have won eight of 11 draws in this second period. Now it's Jay Bowmeister. His pass ahead for Schwartz. And his backhander blocked at center by the rookie Goodrow. And then Hoodler's drive was way high. And Weidman at the line did not hold it in. It goes back in offside. Well, this weekend, Fox Sports Midwest will televise the Missouri High School Basketball Championships presented by Bomberito Automotive Group. Catch the boys and girls class four and five finals live Saturday on Fox Sports Midwest and Fox Sports Midwest Plus. And from the draw, stolen by the Flames, and a save by Elliott on Furlan, who up muscle the Blues player to the puck there. And now Petrangelo. And then he goes for a skate in his own zone. Yeah, a little miscommunication there, but Furlan did a great job on the hunt of getting that puck and get a good shot. Now Oshie hoists one to the corner. Comes around for Steen. And now Bowling has dropped his stick. Steen's pass to the slot, picked off by Brody. And Brody's speed. Tipped in there by Furlan, and the Blues head back. Look out, it comes in front, pinballs around, and finally taken care of by Oshie. And his pass taken by Ott. Some scary moments for the Blues here in the last few minutes. Schlemko hammers it off the boards and out. Now it's Carl Gunnarsson back for Petrangelo. And ahead for Porter. Smacks it off the wall, and he goes after it. Good one check there by Porter. Now Porter gets it free. Circles the goal. And a shot. And that goes high off the glass. And then Lindbaum down for the point. Lindbaum gets it. Now in front corner. Again a drive wide short side. Stepped in by Bertuzzo. And now Ferrat. Chased by England. And then Reeves knocks it free. Good hand. Back to Bertuzzo. Yeah, good hand. Bertuzzo got a little jammed right there by that play, but he did a nice job of corralling it. And this fourth line has is, is been doing exactly what's been asked of them. And there's Lindbaum again stepping up at center. Stasby with it. Oh, he, and he double clutches and doesn't shoot it. Had a, has a chance to fire that puck right there, right in one motion. But that pass tipped away. And now Hoodler back in. His backhand feed blocked by Lindbaum. And we get a whistle. As the puck was caught up under the pant leg of Lindbaum. No score here. At 5'9", 150 pounds, this guy has enormous hockey sense, skill, and he's going to be right there at the end of the day for the Calder Trophy as NHL's Rookie of the Year. Coming on at the right time here with this hard-pushing Calgary Flames squad. Forsberg had the early lead. Eric Ekblad has been outstanding all season long as well for Florida. But let's take a look at the guy they call Johnny Hockey. Boom, boom, boom. That's patience like you read about. We recently saw the documentary on the late great Pavel Dimitra, who's one of the great individual shootout kind of guys in the patience. And that was a move that Pavel Dimitra would smile at. Great patience, hands, as we mentioned before, a little bit of Patrick Kane in his game as well. And now the Blues come in. McCulloch shot blocked. And the Flames flip it out. Now back is hard pass. Grabbed by Steen. Cuts to the middle. Shoots. He scores! Oh! An absolute rocket by Steen. And the Blues take a 1-0 lead. I don't think Hiller could have seen this puck be because TJ Oshie does an excellent job of going to the middle, right to the net. And Steen backs him up, follows in right behind him. So you got that center lane drive. And this Mazda drive to the net, why wouldn't it be? Hard pass by Backus. Watch 74, though. He's going to go to the middle. Oh, and that's actually the defenseman, Russell. From my vantage point, I thought it was more Oshie, but this angle here shows it's more Russell screen in the goalie. And this is just whistled. That is a world-class wrister there by Alexander Steen. He had his first in 14 in Dallas and now gets another one tonight. 
his 21st of the year, and the Blues lead 1-0. Here they come again. Tarasenko a shot. Trying to go the other way, and that was high off the glass. They now play to center ice. Monaghan up the middle. Now to Goodrow. To Hudler. And a save by Elliott as he got across. Good three-way passing there. And now it's Hudler. Chase back of the goal by Laterra. He turns, fires it in front. And now back to England. Tipped on goal. Saved by Elliott. Rebound. Right in the goal crease. And knocked away by Petrangelo. And the Blues have a two-on-one. Schwartz right in to Tarasenko. And a sprawling save by Hiller. Holy jumping. What a save there. Close call at one end behind Brian Elliott. And a two-on-one with Schwartz and Tarasenko going back the other way. Schwartz has a chance to fire this puck. He waits for as long as he can. And he kind of jams it after it hits the defenseman over there to his left, which is Tarasenko. Anglin slides here at the right time, goes off his glove. And I thought Tarasenko did an excellent job of even getting that shot on goal. And two great glove saves by Hiller. Elliott was strong at the other end with that loose puck. And got some help from Petrangelo. Blues win the faceoff. It's Robert Bertuzzo. Slides it in the goal crease area. And that's broken up and now played out to center ice. The Blues goal steam from Ocean Bacchus at 11.32. Here come the Flames in. It is Matt Stajan. Cross-checked hard by Ott. Who may have gotten away with one there. Fans yell a bit here. And now Furland in the corner. Back of the goal for Stajan again. And he gets the uh, wood chop from Lindbaum. A shot from the point by Diaz. And now it is Ott. His backhand feet ahead. Fourth for Terry Lindbaum. And that's off a stick into the zone. Hiller wanders. Gives it up now to Reeves. And Reeves a pass. And then for Stasny. And Stasny back for Bowmeister. Pass in the slot. Yashkin. And just as he went to shoot, he had it knocked away. Yeah, good defensive play by David Schlemko. And the call it back for the Blues. Good job up the boards to Stasny. And he'll play it back of the goal. McCulloch goes the other way. And Bowmeister tips it on to Reeves and Yashkin. Into Stasny behind the defense. And just off his blade. It's a nice pass, a little saucer pass, but you're right just under the toe of the blade. And now the Flames come in. Here's Dennis Weidman on the give and go. It goes to Colbert. And then a drive by Backlund blocked. And the Blues to center ice. And then lobbed in by Bergman. Played around by Hiller for Michael Backlund. And the puck goes down the ice. Flames get in there quickly. In front of drive back oh. right on. And another shot. Another one. Oh. Elliott made two saves. Including that great save on the rebound by Backlund. Uh, that's all world there by Elliott. High quality scoring chances. And Elliott saves the day for the Blues. are playing tonight. Nashville is tied in their game with Winnipeg, or rather Minnesota, and the Hawks are winning at home against the Islanders. Here it's 1-0 for the Blues. Face off one by the Flames, back to Brody. And then a shot by Boma got through and a save by Elliott. And it's Oshie on the counter. Sends it in behind the goal. Back at the big hit on England. And now the puck played by England ahead. And thrown to center ice. As Boma trying to chips it by Bowmeister. It goes back to the goal. And now the former flame Bowmeister to Bacchus. And a pass picked off by Goodrow. And he was stripped there by Alexander Steen with a great play. Look at him. He won't give up pulling that puck. Now Bacchus. Oh, what a move. And a shot was off a stick wide after he danced around Brody. 
And now back is to the line, but Gunnarsson had backed out. And the Blues have to clear the zone. And Schwartz, he'll dance in. Throws it back on the goal. And Brody give away. Matera wide open. And he can't get a shot through. And held in by Gunnarsson. And now for Schwartz. In the slot, Tarasenko a shot up high. Hit the glass. Then now Letera again. Brody off the boards. Then back to center ice. And Petrangelo steps up. Now it's Gunnarsson. He gets it on to center ice. And now Goodrow again for the Flames. This game has suddenly opened up. You know, when it's a 0-0 game, it's more cautious. It became 1-0 Blues. And then the offense of Calgary started to get things going. And uh, both teams have had some great scoring chances, including that last one by Tarasenko that he fired high over the glove. And now it's Steve Ott for the Blues. For Bertuzzo. And then held in there by Russell. And the Blues intercept and chip it high. No icing here. That must have gone off a flame stick. And Weidman steers it around now for Russell. Off a stick, stage it. He comes in. In front. And the Blues get back and break it up. I think Ott got over there along with Limbo. Yeah, Ott did a great job. He never stopped moving his skates. Went right to his, the blue paint to break up that potential play. Now it is Reeves. My wardrobe consultant tonight. <laughs> Trying to get it free. And Weidman again. Good stick there by Stasny. Centers it. And McCulloch from the slot shot wide. Another brilliant pass there by Stasny. And McCulloch at center ice with three minutes left here in the second. In for Yashkin. Trying to kick it away from the pack. Gets it up there from Berkman. And now it pops ahead and the Flames Raymond drops it off for Russell who grew up in Caroline, Alberta, not far from here. And the Blues Dump it right back in, and they make a change. Yeah, it was nice to see Chris Russell having dinner with a couple of his teammates, and and uh, current blue Chris Butler as well last night. And Butler, of course, played all 82 games last year with the Calgary Flames. Here's, we go back to a couple of saves here. After it was 1-0, three shots in a row. Great quality scoring chances on Elliott. And this one here was before that. Another set play. We've seen Calgary do that time and time again. They work at it in practice. It goes back to the point. And then a little sedine like redirection to change the angle in the high slot. After that scrub in front where you mentioned it, Petrangelo helps out. The Blues went down the other end and scored. Now it is Steen. Under some duress, deep in his own zone. And he'll pick his way to center ice. Steen has the only goal, his 21st of the year. And Brody out of the corner. Nice pass on to David Jones, who had a goal in their last game, a loss in Colorado. Well, Petrangelo takes a hit. And now a good stick by Petrangelo ahead to Steen. Three on two here. Steen delays. Now to Tarasenko. And the flame player got back to get a stick in the lane, and that goes out of play. Well, have you purchased your Blues Hall of Fame Plaza Memorial brick yet? Packages start at $165, include a free replica brick, a memorable keepsake to celebrate your devotion to the Blues. Don't miss your chance to become part of Blues history. Go to stlouisblues.com slash bluesplaza to purchase your brick today. One of the best road faceoff guys is Stassi, and he's on there with Tarasenko and Schwartz. And he wins it back to Tarasenko. He kept it in there. Now for Schwartz. Trying to make a move down low. Now Schwartz goes back the other way. As Stasny in front can't get it there. Now to Tarasenko. And in traffic was stripped to the puck. Great coverage there by Calgary. And the Flames the other way. It's Monahan, drop pass. And a shot is stuck wide by Weidman. And now it winds around to Schwartz. He works on Weidman. Tarasenko, the big windup, and that pass bounced on him. And Hoodler back for Calgary. To Goodrow. He just left it there, but it's picked up by McCulloch. And now the Blues again another three on two. Tarasenko in front of Stasny. And now a backhander got through. And Hiller has it. 
Number of odd man rushes now for the Blues, and these guys are exhausted. That's a long shift there, but Tarasenko got it in the neutral zone, so why not keep going? You've got a three-on-two break. Schwartz could barely get to the front of the net there. He's just chugging along out of gas after that shift, complete exhaustion. And here, before that, another two-on-one break where it's a fluttering little pass that just jumps over the stick of Tarasenko. Wasn't quite as flat as what uh, Jaden Schwartz would normally lay that out there like. Well, that was a Albert Pujols like wind up on Tarasenko. <laughs> Took a divot. Yes. Now the Flames in the zone. Back run to the line to Brody. Then a shot. Tipped off Oshie stick. And Lindbaum. Trying to get it up the wall. Cut off by Jones. And now Oshie again. Good work in his own zone. And the Blues to center ice. With 20 seconds left in the period. Good pass down low for Steen. He fights against Brody. Now Steen to the line, and Gunderson in a back out. And the Blues. In the dying seconds here of the second period. Oh, hot. Almost loved that. And he got away with it. That's the end of two here in Calgary. Well, Blues have been a strong team when leading after two periods of play. They're 27, 2, and 2. Big test coming up in the third. The Blues are outshot 11-10 in that period, but for the game, the Blues have outshot the Flame 18-17. And lead it thanks to a steam goal, 1-0. Another nail biter here in Calgary after two periods. The St. Louis Blues with a 1 0 lead over the Calgary Flames. And again, we say happy St. Patty's Day, John and Darren O'Pang back in the broadcast booth. And you've come up with a banner somehow, well, some way. Well, there's no question that Pang was short somewhere along the way. There's got to be a great deal of Irish in me. And I don't want you to kiss me because I'm Irish. No, no we'll, <laughs> we'll leave that to Lynn, your lovely wife. But uh, that's nice of you to wear the banner. Yeah, thank you. Just, you know, the spirit of things. Yes, absolutely. You know? Well, the St. Louis Blues have gotten, for the second straight game, Darren, superb goaltending. Yeah, they have. I mean, shutting down the door completely. And, you know, the patience that the Blues have shown and their goaltending have shown has been very, very impressive. And, you know, this game started turning when the Blues scored to make it 1-0. And then the next shift after that, this chance here by Brody in the high slot. That's a defenseman in the high slot. And there were four straight shots on Brian Elliott as he tries to push to the side, but there's a couple of rebounds there. And right on the tape to Backlund, it just kept going right back to Backlund as Brian Elliott taps his post and get ready here for the third period. He was hitting the chops today, right in the face by TJ Oshie in practice. And then right after that, the goalie coach, Jim Corsi, took a puck right in the head. So it was an eventful morning to get the Blues ready for this game. Yeah, it was it ever. The Blues win leading after two. 27, two and two. The Flames are trailing, very good. 10, 18 and three. No, no team. Well, Anaheim now is uh, comes back to get points when trailing. So this game is along from being over. Blues to center. That pass too far for Oshie. And now tipped back down the ice by Jones. Elliott for Petrangelo. But kept in by Backlund. And now Jones to the net. And that's stopped by Elliott. And he jumps down onto the puck and we get a whistle. Well, we mentioned the very amiable and likable Jim Corsi, who came over after 16 years with the Buffalo Sabres, and there he takes that puck right off the melon. And trust me when I say this, he has got he's got a bump on his face. He went back out on the ice. I mean, incredible. Look at it. Went right back out there. And, and what happened was he was concerned with with uh, Brian Elliott, who took it in the face. So he went to look at Elliott, who was down, and then it was Patrick Berglund fired it off the crossbar and hit him kerplunk right on the head. But he's all right now, a shot from the boards. Nice Stasny block. And the Flames off the near side to center. And then McCulloch will rifle it right back down. No icing. And now it is Jashkin in the forecheck. But Dennis Wybin on to center ice. 
for Monahan. Drop pass, but Tarasenko was in the right spot to cut it off. And Tarasenko has had a couple of good chances tonight. And Brody back. That's knocked down by Tarasenko in front. Latera shoots. He scores! Yari Latera! After a giveaway, the Blues take a 2 0 lead. Tick tack and toe. And Latera bangs it home right there. After the Blues entered the zone with good speed because of Tarasenko, he passed it maybe a little bit too firm, or Schwartz wasn't ready for the hard pass on the left side. But there's the pass goes under the stick, but Tarasenko stays with it. Stick in the lane, so a brilliant shift by Tarasenko defensively, and then in the offensive zone, he strips the puck, and a nice play there by Schwartz as Russell is caught in no man's land. Nice pass, and an easy one there for Yuri Laterra as the STL line continues to hunt. And he gets his 11th goal of the year, and it comes at 118. And the Blues grab a 2-0 lead. Mason Raymond comes in for the Flames. Lindbom and Bertuzzo defending. And a shot. Tipped on goal. And a save by Elliott on Colburn's tip. And now Reeves to center ice. And this goes to the corner quarter there for the Blues. So the goal by Yori Laterra is 11th of the year. As we check the Plaza Tire Service scoring summary, Schwartz and Tarasenko with the assists. And is that a big goal early? Lob back in by Petrangelo. Stajan rings it around. Right on the tape of Petrangelo. And now it's Oshi can't get to the front. He was denied by Stajan. And then swung in deep by Furland. Bowling the first player to the corner. That center pass blocked. Now it comes around to Steen. And puts it up in the air. Now Oshi back checks. And he steals it from the flanks. Now Petrangelo. Oh, he delayed a bit and that puts Steen offside. Well, the cause and effect of this goal to make it 2-0. In his own zone, Tarasenko comes back there, is in the right position, picks off that pass by the Calgary Flames, and here he goes. One way, zips it up to the man ahead of him, which is the right play, and then he picks it off there from Brody, makes a nice backhand pass, forehand pass, and in the net by Laterra. And just like that, the Blues take a 2-0 lead. Here's Bergman in the forecheck, along with Stasty. And the Blues get it in the slot. Berglund now for Yashkin. To Bowmeister and a wrister. That is turned away by Hiller. And now Russell up the boards. Then back to center ice. And Dmitry Yashkin snaps it right back in. That comes around. McCulloch gloves it down. And throws it back to the Flames goal. And Chris Russell in his 500th game. Now into Goodrow. Fakes it. And traced and tracked all the way back on the goal by Bertuzzo. And the Blues shoot it off the boards all the way down. And this will be an icing call. Good defensive one-on-one -on -one play there by Robert Bertuzzo. And long stick at six foot four, 220 pounds. So in a situation against a smaller skilled guy like Goudreau, he wants to keep a stick on puck, keep him on the outside for as much as possible, not get mesmerized by where the puck is. And you see at the very end, Goudreau then is in an awkward spot, and Bortuzzo just drills him into the boards. And it looked like Goudreau was slow going off the ice. You know, we talked to Kirk Muller before the game about this bertuzzo limbo pairing. And it's the first time the Blues have used it, and Darren, he, he said, we're not sure what we're going to get, but it could be real good. And they've been aggressive tonight, stepping up, using their reads and their physicality, and I think, I would say Kirk and the coaches must like what they've seen so far. Uh, there's no question about that. And, you know, a guy like Kirk Muller, he, he runs the forwards, but there's a connection there between what the defensemen do and what the forwards do. There's a connection between what the forwards do and what the defensemen do. So even though Ken Hitchcock is in the middle of the bench and is the head coach, uh, they've got direct contact all the time with these guys. And if the forwards aren't back checking, then Bradshaw's defense don't have the confidence to hold the line. And if the defensemen don't keep pucks in the offensive zone, then the forwards get frustrated. So that's why when you're working as a five-man unit, good things happen. Now a turnover at center ice, Porter. And his shot tip wide. 
Rolls around to Petrangelo. And looks for some open ice. Reeves in the slaughter shot. He got it through. And Hiller kicked out the right leg. And now the Flames out of the zone. But a good stick there by Ott. And he puts it too high over the boards at the Flames bench. Tonight at Fox Sports Live on Fox Sports 1. Eight other NHL games in action. And Jay and Dan will have highlights from across the league. As the race for the eighth spot of the West heats up, bad news hits. The Oklahoma City Thunder plus the NCAA tournament starts today, technically. That's all tonight on Fox Sports Live. Go to foxsports1.com to find Fox Sports 1 in your area. And the Flames off the faceoff. There's no give up in this team, as we said. They have won 11 games this year when trailing at some point in the third period. That's remarkable. Now Oshie comes in. In the slot. Knocked away. Kept in by Bertuzzo. And a wrister got through. And a save by Hiller down on his knees. Another smart play there by Robert Bertuzzo. Getting that puck through is not easy when you've got layers and layers of players that are willing to block the shot. But a good play there by Bertuzzo. He's averaging about 14 minutes so far in five games played. This is the sixth game here this evening in Calgary. Been an even player. And loving, loving it here. Adjusted extremely well coming over from the Pittsburgh Penguin organization. And averaging over three hits a game is Bertuzzo. Now the Flames up the middle. Denied by Petrangelo, and now it's Berglund wheeling back in. And the big sweep pulls up. No play is there. Now a shot by Berglund, and that may have hit Yashkin. That was a good play by Berglund. Get that puck to the net. And now lobbed high, gloved down by Gunnarsson. And Stasny back at his own line now to Petrangelo. As the Blues are trying to complete a change, handed on to Schwartz. And he makes a smart play to dump it in. Comes around to Laterra. It was checked by Juras, and that's launched ahead. Raymond in against McCulloch, and he wins that battle. It was played around the boards, and now tipped to center by Laterra. Now McCulloch ahead. Here comes Schwartz through a lane. But the Flames get back in numbers. Schwartz trying to make a play along with Tarasenko. And then kept in by Laterra. Schwartz off the boards to himself. And then is canceled by Brody. And Calgary to center Diaz, intended for Colburn. And that goes over his stick down the ice. And we get the icing call. Well, you mentioned how good Calgary has been in the third period with a record of when trailing after two at 10, 18, and three. They and Anaheim have done a remarkable job when trailing at any point in the third period, coming back and winning games. And a face-off one, but the shot is blocked. The Blues haven't been too shabby in that either, though. 6-11 and two when trailing after two and have won eight games at any point in the third when, when behind. And now the Blues come in, but they are offside. So an early goal from the Terra at 1.18. The assist to Schwartz and Tarasenko. The Blues lead by two. We're back with you. Time for our Bomberito Automotive Group Sports Update. We go to Chicago. Jonathan Taves. This is his first of two goals tonight. Hosa also had a pair. Just went final. Blackhawks over the Islanders. 4-1. Back to J.K. and Payne. Thank you, sir. It's 2-0 for the Blues. With 13-39 left. The second game of a six-game road trip. Blues head to Winnipeg for a game Thursday. That will have for you on Fox Sports Midwest. Blues have done a good job, too, of not getting Calgary on the power play here in this game. It's been a big asset of the Flames, J.K. Last 10 games, they're 27.5%. But at even strength here, the Blues have done a good job. It's been one of those games. They haven't taken any unnecessary penalties. They've been get in, get out. And uh, we talked about that third period. Most comeback wins. When trailing at any point in the third period, and there's Anaheim. At one point, Calgary was ahead of Anaheim, but they've really come on strong with 15 times they've done it. 11 for Bob Hartley and the Calgary Flames. A remarkable number. Now Brody has some room here. His shot and a save by Elliott. 
Blues, after taking six minors in Dallas, have taken zero tonight. They've had the only power play. That's back of the goal. England cuts it off. And the Flames get the puck to center ice. Three times this year, the Blues have been perfect. Not taking any minors. Now it is Berglund from the top of the circle. A shot off Brody wide. And it's swatted back a little by Stasny. And around to Yashkin. And trying to make a play. That was broken up there. And Goodrow to center. Now Monaghan into Hoodler to Goodrow. And way too many passes there as Russell had moved in. And the Flames don't get a shot. Yeah, the Carney Point New Jersey native. I think that just rolled off the end of his blade. He had the right idea. And now McCulloch under some pressure around to Bowmeister. And he puts it high. And that bounces down with some nice backspin. Then a shot by Reeves, and that goes wide. And now the Blues go on the hunt. It's Ott. This guy's been good tonight. Ott at center between Reeves and Porter. Yes, they have, but they've been really, really effective. And the puck at center picked off by Ott. And now Goodrow gets it back for the Flames. Cuts to the middle. On to Weidman, a shot. Off a stick to the glass. And Trunko trying to hold it in. He's wiped out by Ott. Who sweeps one to center ice. But Colburn back in for the Flames. Here's Colburn in front. Wide open. And a backhander blocked by Elliott. What a chance there. And now Mason Raymond. Trying to slide it through the legs of Ott. And then Lindbaum comes in. All over Colburn. And then Juras is passed. Blocked by Bertuzzo with a great play. And it's finally on to center ice. And Terracing. Oh, he dropped it back. And Raymond picks it up. Mason Raymond at the line. Now Colburn again. Pressure by the Flames. Down by two. Can't get the puck in front. Here's Juras back of the goal. And swatted away by Bertuzzo. And then finally lifted up by Tarasenko. Tarasenko's going to stay on the ice, but boy, was he ever hobbling as he went into the boards awkwardly. And now Latera kicks it back to Petrangelo. With 10.45 left in the third, the Blues leading 2-0. Now Latera's pass up the middle, picked off. Flames get it back. Ends up back of the goal. Elliott around to Petrangelo. Chucked that for Steen. And he gets the puck to center ice. Now for Bacchus. And a shot. And it gets through. And a save by Hiller. And Tarasenko talking to one of the coaches there. Maybe about the hit that happened. As, as Colbert comes in, Tarasenko waits and waits. And the stick of Colbert is lodged right between the legs there. And then he gets hit. So it was an awkward movement, I'm sure. Stay down for a little bit of time. Maybe a premature slide right there by Bortuzzo on Colburn, who gets a glorious scoring chance going off on the backhand. But Pateri Lindbaum, the fin, another solid game. Blues have won 10 of 11 draws in this period. And they win another one. Steen shoots. He scores! Right off the faceoff. And it's 3-0 as Steen buries his 22nd. Just a howitzer, too. A howitzer by Steen, offensive zone faceoff, and that is an exclusive area, the rich area of the ice for a guy like Steen. He gets everything on this one here. And the Calgary Flames, after that one good opportunity by Colburn, the defenseman goes down, or was that Boma? Number 17, that was Lance Boma, who comes out here after Oshi punches it back, and it's a complete screen. Oh my goodness, that is going. That's a terrific shot. So a huge face-off win by Bacchus. And not many goalies would have stopped that laser. It's 3-0. Oshie Steve should get second an, tonight. Yeah, and Oshie should get an assist too. He just pushed that back. And then Bacchus obviously winning the face-off. So that those three again, real solid. At 9.38, midway through here, this third period. And here's the shot. I mean, this is right in the wheelhouse. It's rising. It's humming. Goaltender's a little deep in his net, goes down on his knees as he often does, Jonas Hiller. And he just can't get that left elbow out there in time for that one. So the Blues with a 3-0 lead. 
As we approach the midway point of this third period. On the Flames. That is Butler. Taken care of by McCulloch. Comes back to the line. Russell shot. And that's why. And now it rolls around to Weidman. Russell again. And that was blocked by McCulloch. And Dmitry Yashkin goes for escape. Shoots it around the near side. Good pinch there by the Flame, but Bergman knocked it away. And now Stassi comes in. Drops it off to Bergman. In on goal. A shot and a save by Hiller. What a great chance for Bergman. And now the Flames the other way with Monaghan. And then Weidman. That was broken up. And then Stastny just throws it down the ice, and that's going to be an icing call as he was on his own side of center. Puck was coming back to Paul Stastny, and then it hit the linesman skate, so he was going for a line change. He just tried to just kind of chip that in there gently, but here's the last opportunity here. Good play by Stastny to come in through the middle, and it's typical Paul Stastny buying time for his winger. He bought the time, he gave him the lane, and Berglund probably had a little bit more time to move in there a little bit closer, but he tried to catch maybe Hiller on a quick shot between the legs. Now the flame from the face off, they get the puck. Out high. Minor penalty coming up to Yashkin. Yeah, Raymond was slashed there. Hiller goes off. So six attackers. On this delayed call. Now Diaz for Raymond. And Schlemko will drop it back. And now the Flames do get the puck ahead. Here's Hoodler in the slot. Raymond a shot. And a glove save by Elliott. And now the Blues will be short for the first time tonight with a 3-0 lead. As I mentioned, Calgary in their last 10, they're 8 for 29 in the power play. They will get a chance to sneak back into this hockey game. Paul Stastny is going to go up one hand on his stick. He gets one whack at it there. And then Raymond cuts back to the left. And that second whack with one hand on his stick just clipped up maybe in the cheek area. And uh, the referee in the neutral zone, Tim Peel, makes that call. The Blues have killed the last 21 power plays on the road. <laughs> And overall, they've killed 29 of 30 in nine games. This is almost a must-score power play for the Flames. And they're going to pull the goalie. Yeah, they pull the goalie here with 8.20 left, down 3 nothing. So a gamble by Bob Hartley. Here's Gunnarsson for Oshie. And Oshie, an empty net, flip. And that goes wide. Taking a little out of the page of his former goaltender, Patrick Waugh in Colorado. I don't think Oshie knew the net was empty. Now Goodrow comes in. Chop back of the goal for Boma. And then it's taken by Weidman to Goodrow. With the net empty. And then Weidman can't get it in front. Love down by Bomeister. Center ice to Bacchus. Now for Steen. Here comes Steen with the empty net. And Russell blocked it. What a block! He leads the league in blocks and he stops Steen from getting the hat trick. And now Hoodler to center ice. Driven in by Weidman. Now Hoodler back of the goal. Oh, Petrangelo trying to clear it up the middle. And then lobbed high by Oshie. And that's wide by a good margin. 35 to go. Steen doesn't want to score the hat trick goal in the empty netter. Now Colburn comes in. Here's Brody. Flames get it deep with six attackers here. And then a pass back to Diaz, a drive, and a save by Elliott. Colburn right in front, too. He was all over Elliott. And now the Flames again. Mason Raymond hit his own man. Now work back of the goal. Backlund gets it free. And then a diving play by Ott. Can't get it out. Monaghan to the corner. Too hot to handle there for Backlund. And now Ott trying to work it away with Petrangelo. Stastny is back. The net is still empty at the other end. So it's five skaters against six. But the Blues have killed it off. Hiller's at the bench. He's got the door open. But he has to have a player come over. And now it's taken by Gunnarsson. Here's Ott. And he flips one to center ice. It's a tired and, group. And now Hiller goes back in goal. 
Change it on the fly. You don't often change the goalie the other way on the fly. <laughs> Great stuff. Here are the Flames and Russell. Drops it. And a drive by Bowling wide. And then Chris Russell again in front. Off the stick of Furland. Flames did not get a shot on that power play. And then fired down the ice by Petrangelo. And that's an icing call. Petrangelo's out of gas. Steen was close to him, but he wants to get that up in the air. I would think that Hitchcock will call a timeout here. I'm not sure, but there's the great block again. Right skate by the Alberta native, Chris Russell. Season later, well, there, there's your guy right there. Not the biggest guy, but man, he plays with a big heart. A lot of, a lot of hockey sense. Players love to play with him. Great teammate. Yossi, Carlson, Orpik, and Stone right there. And now they pull the goalie again. Monaghan in front. Off a stick right to Backus. An empty netter. And he hits the middle. And David Backus, an empty net goal, makes it 4-0. Oh, he doesn't miss there. Just lays that out there. Middle of the net. Dead center for David Backus to put this one away. Bob Hartley went back to it with a goaltending pull again. Well, they had plenty of pressure anyway, but the Blues did a great job of defending. They kept that four-man unit originally nice and tight, then they kept the five-man unit nice and tight as well. There's Backus coming up the point. You see the goaltender behind there going off for the change, and then a little bit of a blind pass here goes off the skate, and the Blues are in perfect position. Good coverage, and flat and perfect right in the middle of the net by the captain, David Backus. This line has been terrific. Steen with two goals. Backus with a goal and two assists. Oshi with two assists in this game. And now Backus is 24th of the year at 14-25. And that makes it four zip for the Blues. Here's Schwartz for Laterra. Laterra had the Blues' second goal. That goal by Backus is unassisted. Now, don't you might have gotten an assist on that. Now Colburn drops it to Diaz. He comes in a drive, and that's why. Remember early in the year when that line was just trying to find their identity again? Look at them now. The back is one. Absolutely. From January 1, it's been a great, great run. Now it's Diaz. Can't pull the trigger. Now a shot blocked, and a diving Schwartz. He gets it out. With four and a half to play here in the third period. What a start to the six-game road trip. A 3-0 victory in Dallas. And now up 4-0. There's Ryan Reeves. Plays it off the wall to center ice. Here comes Brody back in. And Brody from the wing. Easy save for Elliott. And then Lindbaum and Bertuzzo in the corner. And played by Bertuzzo. On to center ice to Porter, now for Reeves. He drops it off for Ross. And then back to Reeves and a shot. Back in front to Porter. The net was wide open, but Porter couldn't jam it in. And now Stajan darts in for the Flames. Uh, gotta love the way Robert Bortuzzo goes in there. He's not worried about any puck whatsoever. He knows that Stajan's a little out of gas, trying to reach for that puck, and he goes right for the body. Make sure he gets a piece of him. And now Bertuzzo's pass tipped down the ice by Stasny. Overall, I'd say the pairing of Lindbaum and Bertuzzo have been very good. Now pass up the middle. Here's David Jones. In front, and a shot right on goal, and a save on Backlund by Brian Elliott, who has had all the answers tonight. 3.19 to go for nothing Blues. Well, in that game in Dallas, a 0-0 game heading into the third period, and the Blues talked about executing better, and they came out storming, scored three goals, Tarasenko, Steen, and Oshie into the empty net. And in this game here, heading into the third period again, and a terrific play there by Tarasenko, Schwartz, and Laterra, and then right off the faceoff, just a howitzer there by Steen, and then, of course, an empty net goal by David Backus. So Steen scored in the second period to make it 1-0, and then three goals here in the third. Now centering pass. Knocked it a mid-air by Monaghan. Hoodler with it. 
in the slot. Monahan shot. That goes wide. Good row back of the goal. And a great stick there by Elliott to break it up. Great positioning. You're right. Anticipation. And Monahan again. Pressured from behind by Bowmeister. With under three to play in the third period. Elizabeth shot the Flames 25-23. And lead by four. And this will roll on edge all the way down for an icing call. Well, here is tonight's BMO Harris Bank quick pick of the game to get your picture on an upcoming game. Simply tweet a picture of you and your sign to hashtag BMO Blue Sign Contest. And thank you very much, Catherine. What a way to spend your birthday. Watching the Blues win. Happy birthday. And off the face-off, Bowmeister comes in front, off the goal post! Oh, Colburn darted into a hole and hit the goal post. And now it is Schlemko. Flames try to center one. Schlemko again for Juris. And then funneled around the boards by Bowmeister. And it rolls to center ice now for Berglund. He'll just chip one to the corner. And then Diaz fires it out. Blues have to tag up and get to center. They do. Now dumped in. Steen and Bacchus. And they win a puck battle. Here is Steen again. All the way around the far side to Blindball that came to center. And now right back in. Alexander Steen in front to Oshia shot. And that was blocked at the defense. And now Oshi for Bacchus. And then Bertuzzo all the way back of the goal now for Oshi. The Flames have had no answer for this line tonight. And now Oshi is stripped of the puck. And it's shot the other way. Stay with us. Missouri Lottery Blues Live comes up next. Following this game with 75 seconds left. And now Bertuzzo on for Oshi. Brody banks it back of his own goal. Long pass intended for Jones, intercepted. Here the Blues back in, Laterra for Schwartz to Tarasenko. And that shot was blocked at the defense. And now Lance Coma ahead. Backlund in front. Through the slot to England, a shot. That got through, and a save by Elliott. And another drive by Brody. Elliott got over with his pad and kept it out. Boy, Brian Elliott, razor sharp here in this hockey game, razor sharp. Jake Allen got his fourth shutout in that game in Dallas. And this one with plenty of traffic in front of the net. That was Jones on the doorstep. Brody lets this one rip, short side play. It's very tiring when you have sustained pressure against you and you're moving out and pushing out. And there's that play by Colbert, just right off the post. He just drilled that one right there. As Elliott's left pad was a little flat on the goal line, and it just tear him there off the post, but a great scoring chance. And the Blues clear the puck off the boards to center. Reeves. Now Diaz. And then back for Schlemko. One final push by the Flames. It is Mason Raymond. And a shot and a save by Elliott. And then taken the other way by Chris Porter. And now Porter in. Easy save by Hiller. And Brian Elliott will set a club record with his 21st shutout as a Blue. The all-time leader by a Blues goalie. 10th team shutout of the season. Marty Berdur added one. Jake Gallen had one in the last one. And now Brian Elliott's going to crack open a nice green Bud Light here on St. Patty's Day. Oh, Elliott, 25 shots faced the second period. There was a little barrage right there. It was really the, a defining moment in this hockey game. A real good push by the Calgary Flames. Made four consecutive saves. A great, great game there by Elliott and the entire Hockey club. And the Blues have scored four with the McD app. You can buy one, get one free. Big Mac or quarter pounder with cheese. So a new club record. Elliott's 21st shutout as a Blue as the good guys win 4-0.